Hey, Fred. Hey, Matt. What's going on? Look at your fit. You're dressed remarkably well. Oh, man. Thank you. Do you have you, a man. mask, though? Did you bring one? I do have one. Here we go. Hey, look at that. Polar Peace March. I'm a, I'm a well dressed man as well because I have the exact same mask that you've See, got. See, there we go. This is it, man. All right, let's mask up, my friend. Here we go. To the seventh annual Polar Peace March in, in support, support of UCAN. I'm Fred Long, Vice President of Development at UCAN. And I'm Matt Fitzgerald, Senior Pastor of St. Paul's United Church of Christ. Welcome to what we're calling the Virtual March with Real Power, this year's Polar Peace March. People have been marching online and on social media for over a month now to help raise awareness and money for the life changing programs of UCAN. You'll see those marchers throughout the program, so be watching for your friends and family, and watch for this link, polarpeacemarch.org, where you can give to UCAN and support the powerful work we're doing. UCAN has been making a difference for over 150 years, ever since the start of the Civil War. This recent anniversary video shows the great work that has happened over the decades. I think the work that we do um, is very significant to our clients because it gives them a voice that they otherwise probably would not have. It gives them the ability to explore themselves, explore their experiences. UCAN is one of the oldest social service organizations in the city of Chicago, and we specialize in helping youth and families and communities heal from the trauma that they've experienced at some points in their lives. For them to come in my life and just present me with opportunities to change it, it just, it, was, it made me feel good. It, like, it made me want it, it made me feel wanted. Like, it gave me that sense of family. It means a lot to me to have someone that actually cares and someone that's there for me. I faced situations where I thought were impossible to even get through. It was really, like, it was really relieving knowing I had a UCAN by my side. Just being with UCAN has just made me feel more secure in myself, more confident in my abilities, and just made me a better learner. UCAN helped develop an identity and sense of purpose in me. It's extremely important to me when I see young men and women that I work with uh, buy into our concept take on the challenges of growth and develop into successful young men and women. UCAN is instrumental in this community because they're providing people with hope and they're also providing people with the necessary services that they need for education, employment, and housing as well. I think if you want to partner with an organization that is making a meaningful impact in the lives of job seekers, young adults, and communities in the Chicagoland area, UCAN is the perfect organization to partner with. They allow the youth to be themselves. Um, a lot of them do have trauma, but UCAN, the staff, the mentors here allow them to talk about the trauma and be able to use it so they can have a much better life. Let's dive a little deeper and hear about the difference your gifts make in a specific UCAN program. Here's Adrian Johnson to tell us about the Violence Intervention and Prevention Program at UCAN. Hi, I'm Adrian Johnson, Vice President of Violence Intervention and Prevention Services, also known as the VIPS Department. 
In the VIPS department, we work with young men and women who will either perpetrate a violent crime or become a victim of one. We do this work across three communities, North Lawndale, Roseland, and Riverdale. Several years ago, I cut out a comic strip, a Love Is comic strip from the Sun-Times, and it says, love is believing in someone until they can believe in themselves. For a long time, I thought, you remember that because it's connected to the guy that it, I, I was dating at the time. But now I know that it has nothing to do with him and it has everything to do with the work that we do in the violence uh, prevention department. In our department, we it's about 55 of us, um, very diverse staff. Uh, some of us have ex similar experiences um, that the young people who we work with every day are dealing with, but we are believers. We believe in them. And we believe in them. One, uh, you know, a lot of our young people have been written off, but they're amazing young people. And we give them an opportunity to show it. They're inquisitive. They're smart. They're super funny. And they really want to do better. And so in the VIPS department, what our staff does, we, we give them the space and some assistance to do just that to be what they were created to be. We have seen great results in our department, um, but we also have amazing partners, both internally and externally. Violence is a, a all hands on deck uh, issue and you know, I know oftentimes people wonder, like, how can I fit in? What could I do? There's a space for everyone who wants to help because it's an everybody issue. It's a city issue. It's not just, you know, the communities that it's happening in. It's not just an issue for those areas. It's a citywide issue. And in order for us to impact it significantly, Everybody has to join in. Everybody has to have their hands in the pot, figuring out where, where, they, where they fit in. Thank you. Here's another way that UCAN is having an impact on young people, and that's through our clinical and youth development services. Hi, my name is Jeff Blythe, and I'm the Associate Vice President of the UCAN Counseling and Youth Development Services Department, commonly known as CYDS. Our program provides trauma-informed menu of services that include individual group and family therapy, individual and group mentoring, coaching, and leadership development. Our referrals come from multiple sources, including individuals, families, schools, organizations, and community partners. We are also embedded within UCAN's continuum of care, providing clinical support and youth development to the Violence Intervention and Prevention Program, Teen Parent Service Network, Foster Care, residential in the transitional team program. UCAN's counseling program is an approved provider with all Illinois Medicaid managed, managed care organizations, and we accept private insurance as well as have a sliding scale option. Our youth development programs include individual mentoring, but also have a group component with our Project Visible Man and Phenomenal Woman gender-based groups. We also have a self-expression group through music called Voices which allows music and spoken word to occur and for youth to express themselves through this medium. In addition, Youth Development Services includes You Can Survive, which is a Victims of Crime Act program. This program provides services and support to victims of crime and helps them to stabilize. In addition, we also have our Dear Myron Future Leaders Now program, which is our Leadership Institute, which supports the agency uh, mission of 
all youth who experience trauma can become official leaders, and this program supports that voice to do that. Obviously, we're in the pandemic. In the pandemic, uh, CYDS programming is primarily through telehealth uh, virtual platforms. Uh, Pre-pandemic and hopefully post-pandemic, we will be able to return to home-based, school-based, community-based, and office-based services. It has been an impact for us with our pan with the pandemic, but we have been able to be successful through telehealth, and that will be an ongoing option for us, uh, regardless of us being able to return to the office and when we were when we're able to return to the office and go back to the traditional ways we do services. Thank you very much. <music>
before you can I didn't know what more was I never seen more I never you know more was not a thing to me so they kind of made that a thing and made it seem achievable and reachable everything I kind of have going for myself right now you can't help me start Young people deserve to be acknowledged. Uh, one of the things that we do at UCAN is allow young people to tell their own story. I just think back about all the things that I've overcome and all the things that I want to overcome later on in life. You know, that's what always keeps me pushing. The UCAN Wild and Rooney Scholarship basically gave me the opportunity to go to Howard. It really is about how do we help young people, how do we help families, how do we help communities, you know, reach the power of their potential. When I think about the word potential, it means opportunity. Experiences like this is what propels that next generation of young people into leadership. I want to become an advocate. I want to get my story out and help encourage other youth. I want to be an entrepreneur and I want to put myself in a position where I can help others. This is definitely a way uh, to put your resources um, behind an organization that is committed to making sure that young people, families, and communities are safe. UCAN is just amazing. People need help in the world, and they're just helping people become better. Without UCAN, like I said, I don't know where I'd be. UCAN has helped me so much. They've provided me with so many resources and support that I've needed to excel. UCAN has definitely taught me that the sky is the limit for me and there's no limit on my potential. Well, that's just about it for the Polar Peace March 2021. If you haven't given yet, it is not too late. We hope that you'll give now and we hope that you'll give generously. Unlike many of the places that solicit your gifts, gifts to you can change lives. And that's gonna happen not in the future 10 years from now, but your gift is gonna change the life today. So please go to polarpeacemarch.org. And thanks to all of you and everyone who's been part of this virtual march.